Uh, let's see here. See, now I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. It could literally be anything. through this and hope this leads somewhere. I just don't remember. Ah, see this is a, a new weapon here. I think this is the laser. Yeah, the good thing about the laser is it shoots around corners, but most of the time it doesn't really serve any purpose because most of the enemies are just coming straight at you anyway. And you can just back up to avoid their bullets. So it's their bullets are slow in this game, so it's just it's kind of useless, but whatever. The flamethrower is by far the most useful weapon because it just does the highest damage per second. It's what I use on all the bosses anyway. But you don't get that until later. A little bit later, you get it next. Basically after this, um, you, you do a couple uh, more parts like this, then you get the flamethrower, then you fight a couple big boss, you fight one big boss. You fight one small boss and one big boss, I believe, and then you fight, uh, you fight the boss that you fought before, but he's a lot easier because you just kill it with the flamethrower, I think. It's it's easy either way, it's an easy boss. They're all all the bosses are easy, but that one's just like predictably stupid. On the other hand, if you don't know how to strafe, this game's five times harder, I gotta say. You can get this game used for about 30 bucks with the case, which is not bad, but it's not really worth it. Of course, you can just emulate it, because it's not like they're making money off of it anyway. So here, uh, you want to stick to the wall and just strafe down. And Again, whenever you're at these parts, you want to blow these terminals up. quickly blow this up because those things are coming for me. There we go. We get more shit coming at us. I'm better off killing the red guys though. So I, I got to one terminal that restored my health, and if you can keep uh, slingshotting to each one without dying, then you'll sort of uh, you'll sort of make it through without losing a little credit. But it's pretty hard because there's a couple. Some of the enemies, I think, some of the enemies can run at you and just kill you in like two seconds. I'm not sure about that, but it happened to me before, so I'll have to find out for sure. This thing, this is stupid. You blow this up, and then you just somewhere else. So it's just really dumb. It's like, why? What's going on? I guess it's a nuclear reactor or something. I don't. Yeah. Okay. What the fuck? Where am I now? Now there's no map. There's no. There's no explanation. No map. You're just wandering around. I think that's why it's called Operation Logic Bomb because the game literally just fucking defies logic. It's just you can't think about what the hell you're doing. Now I don't even know, have I been here before? What, like, the floors are written, like, okay, so this is floor three, because it's written there. But have I even been to floor three? I don't know. And the thing is, you'll be outside later, and this will not even matter, so it, it's just, and you can't go back sometimes, and so the floors don't even matter. I'm trying to see if there's a place to download the map. But it doesn't look like it. I'm just gonna head downstairs. Or 
Now let's head downstairs. Pretty much the good thing, because the enemies don't respawn, really if you see the enemies, that means that you're on the right track. But if you don't see any enemies, then you know you're lost. But the thing is, I could not have known, because I blew something up and I just ended up on a different floor. Like, I don't even understand how, how I could have known what I was doing there. Oh, I think this might be the part, there's a part where you have to go upward. Is this the part? Okay, right here. Yeah, this was it. Because you, you can't get here without the laser. There's another part, too, where you have to go upward, but this part... See, I would have walked past that and I would have been stuck for ten minutes. With this stupid-ass thing. And this is just like the other boss, except this time you want to attack it from the side. And just like that. Yeah, it's really stupid. I don't know if the laser does more damage than the other thing, but... Oh, he's not- he can't even hit you from over here. Alright, I'll just let him stand here. Dumbass. I'm not- I'm not complaining. Okay, so this is the boss from the for beginning, but I don't even know if it's a boss. It's just an enemy. I have no clue. Whatever it is. I consider it a boss because it's the closest thing to a boss that you get. There's one big guy that you would definitely say is a boss, and then the final boss, of course. But this thing, I don't know what the fuck it is. But whatever. It's not like that's any kind of remote challenge, so who the fuck even cares? If you have even the most basic gameplay skills, this is not even a thing. And what is this showing me? I have. I don't even think you see anything out there. I don't even know what the fuck this is supposed to be. Maybe you do, I don't remember. Dimensional errors. Okay. You do have to rebuild that part, but I don't know if there's an enemy there. And I think these yellow guys, they can run at you, and they can just kill you if they touch you. I think they're potentially the most dangerous enemies in the game, but I'm not sure about that. There's also some flies that move really quickly. They're like flying... They look like flying pieces of candy. I don't know what they're flying robots, I guess. I don't know. But they're really obnoxious. So now I'm back on floor three, but this time... I'm in another part, so and I guess this leads somewhere new. Oh, now I'm on floor four. Okay. So I'm almost done with this part if I'm on floor four. I don't think that there's much more after this. But I'm gonna have to backtrack. Different things are gonna open up. These yellow guys just stay the fuck away. They can fuck you up bad. This part too is just like, what do you do? You just kind of strafe. In general, though, I, I mean, the game is fair. If you don't, if you play fairly, for the most part, there's only a couple cheap ways to die, like that yellow, the yellow guys, like I mentioned. This, you can't really die here, no matter what you do. Unless you just, you're just really sucking. But see, like, here they spawn behind you, so you gotta back up. I think this might be a little faster. As soon as you get the flamethrower, that does, like, double of this in terms of damage. 